regardless of how many champions Javante Davis beat, my beliefs stays the same. I believe fighters should chase competition more than belts. Fighters are who they beat. Fighters' legacy depends on the competition, not the amount of belts. Now, I want to use this photo and show you how a lot of these fans contradict themselves. A lot of fans don't like Javante Davis. And they don't like him because of Floyd Mayweather, him being African-American, and him having uh, a support system that's made up majority of black American fans. That's why, and that's the only reason why a lot of fans hate Javante Davis. They claim that it's the lack of competition that he's been fighting, which I call BS. Because in the same breath, these fans will say that Javante needs to step up, but cannot have a conversation about their favorite fighters' resume because they don't know anyone on their favorite fighters' resume outside of a handful of fighters. Now, Crawford and Canelo, they have a good resume. We, we can have a conversation about their resume because they do have a great resume. So is Olesander Usyk. Devin Haney is starting to rack up a pretty solid resume. Okay? But the, the, the fighters that all these fans love to sit there and praise and, and call them pound for pound. No one knows anybody on their resume outside of a handful of fighters, like I said. Now, mind you, Javante Davis is the most criticized fighter today. He's the most hated fighter outside of Devin Haney today. And I explained the reasons. It has nothing to do with the sport. It has everything to do with him being African-American, having ties with Floyd Mayweather, and his fan base. His fan base is majority black American boxing fans. That's the only reason why he's hated, just like Devin Haney, just like the rest of the uh, black American fighters in the game today are. Now, here's the flip side to this. The current fighters that beat more world champions today are older than Javante Davis. And there's only three. Canelo, Anue, and Crawford. All three are older than Javante Davis. All of them. But notice how Javante Davis has been asked to step up in competition. But meanwhile, a new way. Okay? When you ask, when you ask for a new way to step up a competition, then it becomes hate. It becomes everything but the truth. But at the end of the day, the people that are claiming hate for asking for a new way to step up a competition can't even have a conversation about a new age's resume outside of two fighters, Fulton and Donaire. That's it. Stephen Fulton and Nolito Donaire. Here in this community, the only videos that I've seen dedicated to fighters that a new way fought and beaten were only to two fighters, Donaire and Fulton. That's it. Check out Devin Haney. He's fought and beaten six world champions. And he'll be fighting his seventh world champion when he fight Liam Perro. But a lot of you guys, you a lot of fans hate Devin Haney, but love Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez has only fought and beaten three world champions. Lomachenko, Richard Cormay, and Josh Taylor. That, that's solid competition. Okay, so don't come at me and say, hey, 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 hey. You know, that's top. It is top competition. I, I'm acknowledging that. But you guys' criteria is based on the amount of champions and the amount of belts. All right. That's what you guys use to judge a fighter. You use the amount of hardware and you ignore the competition. Competition for you guys is only a conversation is when you're trying to defend your favorite fighter. All right. Or better yet, when you're trying to use a certain fighter to disrespect a black fighter, that's the only time you will acknowledge competition. 